This rack right here is one of my favorites. It's the Saris MHS, it's modular hitch system. And what we're gonna be taking a look at it on is a 2022 Acura MDX. So we have a mountain bike here. If you have a full suspension mountain bike, a downhill bike, regardless, any wheelbase up to 53 inches, this is gonna be able to work with. And also, when it comes to tire widths for those fat tire bikes, up to five inches. So it's kind of like the end-all be-all when it comes to all those specs you're kind of looking for on racks. This is gonna work with pretty much any bike. If you do have a kid's bike or something like that, it is gonna work with wheel diameters from 20 inches all the way up to 29. And notice these little holes right here. This little sleeve that goes down on our wheels is gonna be able to adjust. You just unscrew this, slide it down, and that'll be good for those kiddos bikes. So as you can see right now, we don't have any frame contact. So for those carbon fiber frame bikes, it's gonna be a great option for you as well. And I just really like the whole mechanism behind putting your bikes on, but we'll get to that. I do wanna show you the tilt away feature. We don't have to take the bikes off and it's at a very convenient spot right here. And we also have a little bumper. So if we did have a hitch that was a little lower, this Acura is not low enough for it to hit, but there is a bumper at the bottom, so you don't have to worry about that. And this is just gonna allow us to maybe stop by the grocery store after the ride, and we can still put all our groceries in the back, or if you keep majority of your gear in the back of your MDX, we're gonna have full access of that. Because some of these racks, they don't allow you to tilt with the bikes loaded, so you have to unload the bikes, tilt it back, put your stuff in or get your stuff out, and then put the bikes back on, but with this, you just kind of keep them on there, which is nice. So with me, sometimes it's just a nice day. I just have a little bit of energy at the end of the day and I want to go riding. With this, you can keep your bikes on there and you can lock them too. It's pretty easy to look past this little section just because it's so hidden, but this is where our cable sits. So it's plenty long. We'll be able to go around wherever we want to on our frame and then it'll connect back to it. And we will get some keys with our kit, which is super cool. And you're going to have a cable for each cradle. So we have one for the one that the bike is on right now, but every single cradle like this, even including the add-on, will have one. So that's really cool. I just like having the peace of mind, meaning I can go on trips and keep my bikes loaded on and the cable lock is gonna make sure it's not gonna go anywhere. Let's go ahead and take the bike off the rack. Back here, the strap is where you wanna start. Just press this in and you can pull it out and this is going to slide so that'll accommodate for the different wheelbase bikes that you may have and then we want to have our hand on the bikes and there's a pretty big lever down low so you put your the ball of your hand on there to press it in and it'll fold on out and then we can just take the bike and remove it get a closer look of what's going on with the MHS. I really do like the one wheel design or the wheel hole design just because it's just super easy to click it into place. It doesn't take much time at all. I think this is one of the more speedy racks and I was talking about how you have to adjust this for the kiddos bikes. Notice how this one's a little lower. We were hauling a smaller bike with this earlier. We'll do that for both sides. And then we can take some measurements because with any hitch mounted accessory, we are gonna add a little bit of length to the back of the vehicle. So from our bumper of the MDX to the end of the MHS is about 37 and a half inches. But we can cut that down a little bit. One thing I do wanna show you though, there is a decent amount of ground clearance. So it is gonna be above your hitch receiver. So this one's about 16 inches, which isn't a whole lot, but I don't think we're gonna really bottom out or anything. So what we're gonna do now is use that same exact lever for the tilt away feature, but we're just gonna tilt it up and all the way up right here. It's gonna bring our distance to a total of 12 inches. And the closest part is about three and a half inches from the bumper to our little arm right here. 
and there's not any movement or anything that'll make it go any closer. So I don't think that it's gonna have any contact with the back of our MHS. So another thing you need is a two inch hitch receiver. It does come with an anti-rattle bolt and a locking core. And this is gonna be key to like with all your cables. So you don't have to have a bunch of keys. They do give you two though. So keep one in a safe place. And the anti-rattle really does completely lock the shank of our bike rack to the hitch receiver. So you're not gonna hear any rattling and your bikes aren't gonna feel it either. There is one other drive mode that you can do with the MDX. I don't know if it's gonna be very useful. It's mainly just for like truck beds or Jeeps, but you can also ride with it like this. If you do just wanna know how much distance we're adding. In this mode, it's about two feet. But all in all, I think the rack looks really great. It is relatively heavy, so this might be a rack that you kind of just want to keep in your hitch and just load it up whenever you need to. But I just like the idea that I can add a third cradle on here just in case I grab another bike or just find another person to ride with. So I think that's really cool. The modular hitch system is something that kind of sets it apart from all the others. And I do think it is gonna turn some heads whenever you're driving down the road. And that's pretty much it for our look at the Saris MHS on our 2022 Acura MDX.